So one of the big features of the new iPhone 16 lineup is it now records spatial video and photos, but unless you're dropping like $5,000 for an Apple Vision Pro, you are kind of stuck with that uh, living just off of your phone. But if you want to view that at a fraction of the price, which I think uh, is a uh, super dope timing, these are the Ray Neo Air 2S's, and these are probably the best budget XR glasses out right now. XR is extended reality, and that includes mixed, augmented, and virtual reality. So clearly out of the box, you can see it's a pretty premium design. It's got a funky front up top and inside you have a nice little carrying case. You also have user manuals, warranty info, the USB-C cable, an extra pair of nose tips and prescription lenses if you need them. The glasses themselves are pretty sleek. They're in this gunmetal finish and way smaller of a form factor than say uh, Apple Vision Pros or even a uh, Ray-Ban Metas. They can fit on like perhaps like a pair of sunglasses you'd say. You can even like fold them up and Put them like sunglasses like onto your shirt when you're not using them. And I've actually had the uh, previous gen of these which I reviewed earlier. So the big difference between these is the audio experience. So these have four speakers compared to the two which is improved by six decibels compared to the last gen. And here's a quick little audio sample comparison between them. As you can hear, it's improved significantly. It also has Whisper Mode 2.0, which is a big improvement. And when activated people around that 20 centimeter mark can't hear any voice or music from the glasses, which is really impressive. And I'd say the biggest difference visually is the edge clarity. So that's, uh, you know, the viewing angles along the sides of the glasses that is looking a lot crisper in general. These are also the world's first AR glasses to have a three level color adjustment, which you can change directly on the actual glasses themselves. Previously on the Air 2 and other brands, you could only adjust them within the app. So for the overall specs of these, it's a 201 inch screen. It's at 1080p resolution. You get up to 600 nits of brightness, so they are brighter, but you have 10 levels of brightness adjustment. So if you are in a super like dark environment if you're using these as like your home theater kind of setup. Uh, you don't have to strain your eyes as much. The screens are 120 hertz and the first thing that I've noticed around them, the physical speakers, you can see the four of them here, they offer dynamic stereo sound which is super nice. And honestly the big difference between these and say you know Vision Pro or any other AR glass that has some sort of dedicated battery pack, these actually just are powered off of the device that you're plugged into. So for example, the main reason why I use these is uh, since I travel like literally nonstop, when I want to edit, say on my MacBook Pro, I pull up a virtual screen. It is a bit of screen mirroring, but I can just plug these into my computer via USB-C. You can literally just have this plugged in and now I can just be in my own zone editing on a larger display. And there's actually that joke, uh, I've seen it like on Twitter. I've actually seen it in person when say MKBHD travels to trade shows with his like Mac, studio or his uh, pro display xdr you don't have to spend thousands of dollars on an extra monitor you don't have to worry about the physical size of carrying something you can literally fit this into your pocket and just zone in into your own world so when i'm launching say like final cut i can edit on a large display and then i can just quickly switch between say like media consumption i can just watch a show that i'm uh, trying to catch up on i actually just re-watched uh, shogun if you haven't seen it best TV show series, like probably of the year. They just won all the Emmys, so uh, definitely worth a watch. I'm approaching 150,000 miles of traveling this year. This is just a nice little tech accessory to bring with you and to, you know, watch content on. Or for example, when I've got it plugged into my phone, I can just zone in on a game that I'm playing um, for some of those flights like guilty pleasure of like Candy Crush. It's like uh, just my little thing. Or if I just wanna watch content, catch up on soccer, this is a way smaller of a form factor than obviously bringing your laptop. And the benefit, like I said at the beginning, this can record a spatial video and photos. I can just quickly just snap those on the camera now, just launch the Rainio XR app, and then I can view all that spatial video. For example, I just took one of Link who is snoozing right um, underneath me this way. And um, I'm able to see Link. Whoa. Cool. In 3D, which is super dope. I actually like them for creating those memories. Um, you know, I wanna shoot some, for example, of like my parents, of special events. And then later on, when you really wanna look back at those, it gives you that extra sense of depth. Like you were almost there. I think that's a really good use case for spatial video. But let me know if you guys are recording a lot of spatial video yourselves. And overall, those are the main things that I've been using these uh, for. A really kind of nifty pair of XR glasses. Something that's just way more compact, uh, obviously affordable. I think that's the 
the big thing. Like I can never recommend Apple Vision Pro to anyone just because they're so expensive. If you want to have, you know, a couple of the benefits, yes, a lot of it is just, you know, screen mirroring. But for example, that spatial video, I don't want to pay five grand just to, you know, use a feature of my new iPhone when I can do that at a fraction of the cost. So overall, I've been enjoying them. And in terms of like actual usage, once again, unlike Vision Pro, which puts a lot of pressure on the front of your face, these are actually, you know, comfortable on the face. They're not heavy. You don't get any of the weird pressure marks around your face. They're essentially just like wearing a pair of sunglasses. They have something called like multi-face shape adaption, essentially whatever kind of style or shape of your face, these will fit fine. They're only 78 grams and they can literally just kind of compact into this small travel form factor, way lighter, way smaller, and they don't have a weird little battery pack attached to it. One little accessory though that uh, I've kind of been testing out is uh, this guy. This is essentially just like a Google Pocket TV. So this is an X our streaming box that's certified by Google and it has more than 10 streaming platforms. You can get more than 40,000 movies, shows, and more. It has 6,500 milliamps of battery, so it can charge mobile phones or any other devices. So it's like having your own private theater with three gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of memory. It supports cards and external USBs for local video playback. So if you head to somewhere like a cottage or somewhere that doesn't have any Wi-Fi, you can always download videos or content beforehand and you can enjoy uh, all that on a giant screen. And I know that they sell them as a bundle combo. Since I have the previous gen and since I have the new pair, honestly, I will give one of these away just for someone to try them. I really want, uh, you know, one of you guys to uh, try it how good these uh, XR glasses are. So make sure you comment what type of content you like to binge using the glasses, what you would use it for. I'll get these shipped out uh, within a month. Hope you guys enjoyed this vid and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes. Peace. You guys just saved a ton of money buying these instead of the uh, Apple Vision Pros.